This past Thursday night, uh, the Archdiocese celebrated the Ordinandi dinner, which is an occasion for everyone in the diocese to get together and show their support and uh, their prayers for the men to be ordained in May. And one of the men who gave their testimony on Thursday night was Deacon Cole Powers. So shout out to Deacon Cole. Um, he said something that made me think of this Sunday as gospel, which is the gospel of the Samaritan woman at the well. So first of all, Cole grew up as an atheist. His family uh, was atheistic. I'm not sure if they were explicitly atheist or just didn't grow up with any faith to speak of. But he said when he finally discovered Christ and decided to give his life over to him, he, Cole, said that he experienced within him a joy that would automatically well up from within him, all by itself, without him doing anything, without him forcing it or sustaining it by any effort on his part. And this is often the way that a person experiences a conversion. Unlike the woman in today's gospel, the Samaritan woman, who before she met Christ, she had been grasping at joy and happiness from sources that were outside of her and um, from the broken relationships that she was involved in. And she was always left tired and dry after each attempt. But those who give their lives over to Christ experience this automatic wellspring of joy and peace without sort of artificially conjuring it up you know, or, or expending uh, more energy to sustain it. It's just there. So this third Sunday of Lent, which is the Sunday of the woman at the well, let's renew our commitment to live our lives completely for Christ. Maybe relive our conversion moment if we've had one. And in doing so, experience a peace and a joy that automatically would well up from within a soul that is right with God.